In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create very different style images from a starting image that goes far and beyond using just filters on a single image and much easier than painting from scratch. The programs I'm going to use here in this tutorial are ACDC as my photo editor, but Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, or any other program that supports layers will work basically the same. The other program is a web-based program called Deep Dream Generator, which runs on browsers, iPads, and tablets. The starting image that I'm going to use for this demonstration is an interesting picture of an Arabian woman with henna markings that I found on Pinterest. Many people have asked me where to find style images. These can be found easily on Pinterest as well by looking for keywords such as art styles or impressionistic painting. Once you've found an image on Pinterest that you want to capture, go ahead and click on it to bring up a larger view. Next to the image at the top are three little dots. By clicking on them, it will bring up a drop-down menu to let you download it into your computer. To best understand how Deep Dream Generator works and how it uses artificial intelligence to produce its stunning results, think of the starting image as the main ingredient in a dish that you wish to cook. Next, think of the style image as the spices that you would use to flavor that dish. The main ingredients will absorb and meld those flavors together to produce a synthesis. Just as in preparing a food dish, the result will depend upon the spices, or in this case, the style image you use, the amount of spices, which would be analogous to the style weight and enhancement, and the intensity of the spices, which would be analogous to the style scale and depth. It is important to understand how the chosen style affects the image. It works with both the color palette of the style and the architecture of the style. And depending upon the settings, it will incorporate elements of both of these into the starting image. image. To start a new image, we go to the home page and we go ahead and select generate. Now we have a number of options here. First of all, we want to choose the file, which we'll choose as our uh, henna hand file. And then if we go down here to the styles palette, we have a number of different options. We can choose the default style, which are shown here, or we can show popular styles, which are shown here, or we can pick my styles. Now, if you'll notice, the My Styles only will display about 24 images at a time. But you know that you've created more styles, so where are they? Well, to find the other styles, we have to go back to the home page and go to the My Dreams page and then click Styles. And there you will see all the rest of your files in successive pages. Another way to create a style is you can go ahead and upload your own. And we click on this little icon and then choose File. And from here, we can go ahead and find our directory where we have the styles. And here are all the different images that I've collected in my personal directory and we can choose something like this and then that will be used as the style. Next we want to go ahead and look at the settings. We click on that little arrow and we have a number of options. Now if you aren't a paid subscriber you probably will just have the deep style one setting. Uh, in this case we'll just go ahead and use that which won't really allow us more than um, usually uh, 3.36 uh, or 6 megapixels. Um, in this case, let's pick the smallest one since it will save energy points and we're just experimenting at this point anyways. 
I'm going to go ahead and just use the default settings for most of these images, which should suffice. So we go ahead and click Generate, and it will start the process with a status bar showing when it's completed. When the process is completed, it will then show the image. Now, if you're a paid subscriber, you will have the opportunity to increase the resolution. Um, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and just save it as is. Um, since I'm on a Windows computer, I'm just going to right click and use Save Image As and put it in our directory and call it Example 1 Style Whatever. I went ahead and created five different images, each using a different style and just kept the default settings the same at basically 0.36 megapixels. From this, you'll be able to see how the style image affects the initial image and the result it produces. I'm going to go and try now to explain the concept of compositing images. And what I've done is I've taken some of the images that we've created with different styles in Deep Dream Generator and start to combine them in unique ways. I'm using my Windows program, ACDC Ultimate, but Photoshop Elements, Photoshop uh, um, uh, itself, and um, some other programs that support layers will work pretty much the same. So I'm starting with our base images. Uh, which we'll call layer one from one of the images. And I've gone ahead and just layered another directly on top of it. And I'm just going to bring the opacity all the way up. And this one has a much more uh, detailed graphic style, but much more subdued. And we can change the opacity here to give more of a blend between the two. And we'll say right about there. And now let's go ahead and add another layer here. And we can play again with the capacity, opacity of all three of those. Or we can turn off one of the middle layers and see how that looks. And then let's go ahead and add yet another layer. And we'll turn the opacity of that one up. And ch then change the opacity for the composite of all of those together. Yet another layer here. And we can turn off some of the other layers and see how that one just affects it. This is our more graphic one. And another thing we can do is change the composite method from normal here to multiply. And now you can see how we have different layers affecting the final image. At this point, well, I may want to just clean up some artifacts here. And I can just go to the eraser tool and take out some of these artifacts.
once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and save it, but I am going to save it in its native format that um, preserves all the layers. Um, in this case, ACDC has its own format, but I could also save it as a uh, Photoshop layered file. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and also save it as a JPEG file with all the layers combined. Now once I have that, I'm going to do some further editing on this. And in this case, I'm going to just play around with some of the um, uh, color saturation to give it a much more vibrant look. And maybe some of the lightness. Maybe add red or cyan. And then also maybe do a little bit of sharpening to give it a nice crisp image. Now you can clearly see the comparison between our starting image and our composited stylized image. From this final composited image, we can make further enhancements with other programs such as PhotoSketcher, Topaz Impressions, iColorama, Escape Emotions Rebel 4, Photoshop, and many others to create a painterly and artistic final image.